Hey, welcome class, and for the next two weeks, we are going to cover the civil rights movement, but the civil rights movement based on what our people, the Chicano, did through all the systems. This is known as the Chicano movement or El Movimiento. And I'm saying two weeks because through films, through the PBS series, the Chicano movement, we're going to get to learn all the different fronts that the Chicano tackles, all this injustice that have been happening in the U.S. for decades. So, a little bit of the summary. In the 1960s, a radicalized Mexican-American movement began pushing for a new identification, the Chicano movement, or El Movimiento, as I mentioned a little bit before, and advocated for social and political empowerment through a Chicanismo or cultural nationalism. In the 1960s, this movement began pushing for new ideas, new laws. And I wanted to quote Corky Gonzalez in his 1967 poem, Yo Soy Joaquin, where he started by saying, Perdido en un mundo de confusión, lost in a world of confusion, caught up in the world of a gringo society, confused by the rules, scorned by attitudes, suppressed by manipulation, and destroyed by modern society. My fathers have lost economic battles and won the struggle of cultural survival. La raza, Mexicano, Español, Latino, Chicano, or whatever I call myself. I look the same, I feel the same, I cry, and I sing the same. I am the masses of my people, and I refuse to be absorbed. Beautiful point by Corky Gonzalez. And Corky Gonzalez becomes a leader of this Chicano movement. This famous epic poem associated with the Chicano movement of the 1960s, Joaquim speaks of the struggle that the Chicano people have faced in trying to achieve economic justice and equal rights in the U.S., as well as to find an identity of being a part of a hybrid mestizo society. He promised that his culture will survive if all Chicano people stand proud and demand acceptance. This will be analyzed in your weekly discussion. Leading up to the 1960s, Mexican Americans had endured decades of discrimination in the U.S., as you saw it in the Lemon Grove incident or Mendes versus Westminster. Before the Chicano movement, discrimination was normal to see it on a regular day basis. Leaders in the movement pushed for a change in multiple parts of American society, from labor rights to education reform to land reclamation. And that's what we are going to cover throughout this week. As Professor Jimmy Patino from the University of Minnesota, he calls the Chicano movement was known as the movement of all movement. There were so many different forms. So for the next two weeks, mostly through film, we're going to focus on these three major goals of the Chicano movement, which were rights for the farm workers, restoration of land, and education reform. Cesar Chavez and Dolores Huerta are the one who leads the fight in the fields. And that's the awesome documentary that you're going to watch, The Struggle in the Fields. We're also going to get to see Reyes Lopez Figuerina, who's labeled as the Malcolm X of the Chicano movement. And he's the one, who, through his organization, the Alianza Federal de Mercedes, or the Federal Land Grant Alliance, in 1953, um, he pushes the Reclamation Act, and he challenged the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo to reclaim the lands stolen by the U.S. The last part that deals with education, we're going to see how students play a central role in the Chicano fight for justice. They organized walkouts in Los Angeles and also Denver in 1968. Well, 52 years now. It's a long, long time. But overall, the Chicano movement did much more than change laws and working conditions for Mexican workers, he gave Latinos and Chicanos 
a new voice that we deserve politically and made everyone aware of how seriously discrimination and unfair laws were established in the U.S. So it's a busy two weeks and I'm saying two weeks because that's what we're going to cover for these two weeks. So we're going to get to see this through films. It's going to be only short readings but most of the content of the class is going to be done through the film series The Chicano Movement. That's all and I'm looking forward to these two weeks that has so much content that not only it is exciting but you can see our ancestors fighting for equity. Take care.